everyone this is Sharon Charlie's crafts um, I just want to pop on here for a couple things one I just made meatballs this is my second batch that just came out and I'm going to flip them over so that they have a kind of hard holding like a nice crust on the bottom I always use so I don't have to fry them fry them is good too but I prefer to bake them to get that grease out of them. And I always use parchment paper. And they got a beautiful little crust on them. And the fat is good because it makes your gravy really nice. So I'm making these beef meatballs. And I am making turkey meatballs tomorrow. I am wiped out today. It's been a long two days. So I'm just going to turn them over the side that gets nice and brown and put them in for another, I guess, 10 minutes. And then I'm going to cool them and bag them up. And then tomorrow I will make the um, turkey meatballs. And once I make them, I'll put them aside and make my sauce, tomato sauce tomorrow and incorporate them all together. And uh, take the uh, pot of meatballs and sauce over to my daughter's on Monday. Because uh, she's not feeling well. And I figure I would, they're, they're one of their favorite spaghetti and meatballs. And uh, so I thought I would uh, treat her for dinner on Monday, Labor Day. For her and her boyfriend and my dear grandson. So that's it. And uh, I shall return with this craft. Hi everyone. Okay, so let's follow through with what I was talking to you about with my meatballs. Um, if you would like my recipe, uh, let me know in the comments. Tomorrow, like I said to you earlier, I will be making uh, a batch of the turkey meatballs because my daughter, I don't know what's in my eye, she likes the turkey rather than the beef. So, um... I'm gonna make a batch of them and mix them in with the um, beef meatballs. But my kids love, they love my cooking, but I think that's one of their favorites, my spaghetti and meatballs. So if you're interested, let me know and I will step-by-step uh, step show you very easy how I make them. And I usually make them in the oven now because I have a very little kitchen and it's just so much more uh, time, less time consuming, messy, and on and on and on. So, now the reason, excuse me, I came back on here is because I am, <clears throat> I don't want to get so far, far, far ahead of myself that then you guys are like, why'd you do so much? But I want to explain to you, this is the Dow that I got in Dollar Tree. This is the green. I wanted the lighter green, but this is what I ended up with. And if you see, I've been putting the cow loops on it, and I will show you now how I'm doing this. Pre-warn you. I have never done this before. This was one of my nighttime thinking creations that I could possibly pull this off, and I had never seen it before. So as you see, they're all different lengths because I'll show you why. So I'm gonna lay this down. Now I have to tell you, this is a whole roll of the Dollar Tree yarn and about this much is the new Dollar Tree yarn. I have this little bit left and I'm thinking I may have to use it all. My advice to you is if you want to do this craft, I hate to tell you this, but you're gonna, I would personally, if I'm gonna do this again, if it works, I would get a much better quality yarn. Um, and whatever color, when you find out what I'm making here for the holidays, uh, you'll see why. Because this is like string and it's been taking me three days to get this thing going. I am very tired today because I have a company coming tomorrow. I had a sick friend last night. 
Um, and I had to help her out. She spent the night and I, I just couldn't sleep well. And I just had a lot on my mind. And um, it's just been overwhelming for me. So I am a little tired or I would probably go farther with you with this, but don't worry. I'll catch my breath tomorrow. And um, after I get done all my cooking, <clears throat> and uh, I have some events coming up, one family coming tomorrow, um, and then Sunday I'm going to go visit my son because he bought me a wood burning tool. Yeah, I'm excited about that for my crafting, so you'll be seeing some of that. And then Monday... Uh, I'm going to my daughter's and bringing over the whole pot of meatballs and spaghetti and treat them for dinner. So it's going to be a tough few days because I'm not, you know, 100% on the ball health-wise. So, But I want to do it. Okay, so if you want to make this, please, please don't get the cheap yarn. Spend a few more dollars and get one nice roll of thicker yarn. That's all you'll need. And when you see the craft, when it's done, you can choose the color that you want. And here's what I do. I start at the end here and I pull it to about 24 inches. Okay, 24 inches, let me make sure. Yeah, and once I do, I hang on to the piece and then I take it down to another piece that matches up and I have my little good scissors and cut it off. I hang on to this piece, pull it until I get to the next piece and keep going. And this, like I said, has I've been working on this for three days until you get a nice bunch of, I'm gonna do one set for you because that's really all you need to know about this craft. I would have had it done if I had better yarn. I mean, not, not that I'm putting down the yarn from Dollar Tree, it's nice, but to make this craft, no way. Now, see how this piece got twisted? Because it's so thin to work with. All right, so you go once again, go to the end, hang on to the piece. I hope you can see what I'm doing line it up, and then pull it to the end. Watch TV or do something while you're doing this. Get your end and just keep going until you get a nice uh, chunk of it. I say about another 10 times. So cut. Let me lower this down. Oh. Wow, you don't need to go that far down. Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> this one. Hold on one second. Let me take it back up. Okay. What? What is going on here? Hold on one second. Okay, let's try this again. So, you got your pieces on the end. You take it to the length and then you cut it, okay? But what up if I had the yarn? The yarn got away with me. So let's start over. Just match it up to the end. Like I said, these, oh God, pieces are so thin. And then pull it down. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Don't worry about that. We can all, we're gonna end up cutting it anyway. Come to the end, cut. I just lost my end again. A lot of pieces will, because this, this is like string, are really hard to match up, but just kind of hang tight to the bunch of the yarn that you have. And then pull down and cut. And try to hang on to it so you don't lose it. Line it up, pull down, and pretty soon I'm going to show you the little cow, what is it called, a cow hook or something like that. That's what we're going to be using to put it on to the dowel. Now, you could even use a thinner dowel rod because this one I have, it's really kind of big. 
but I got it for a dollar anyway. I'm trying to line up these pieces. See how they get all discombobulated? So I'm gonna just cut them and make them even and keep going. After this, I'll show you how to do one hook and you should be okay. So get yourself some thick yarn and I'm hoping very much that this turns out as okay as I think it's going to be. And the reason I'm excited about it is because I've never ever seen anyone on YouTube do this craft. And maybe because it's doesn't work I don't know but I'm gonna give it a shot and it wouldn't hurt it wouldn't hurt now I'm not saying go run out and buy it wait till I do this craft and then you decide after you see the results I had to get some which I already had I got it at Dollar Tree spray starch that may help me a little bit to get the look that I want Right, I'm almost there. I'm going to do two more. And then line it up. And then I'm going to show you how I do that cow loop. Is that what it's called? Cow hook? All right, here we go. This last one. And I still have some. I love those baby scissors. This much of the second roll. Okay? Now, so you're gonna take your yarn and kind of splice, make it in half. And like I said, I've been working on this for three days. And then you are going to hang on to the center and then grab the bottoms of the lower pieces of the yarn and you're gonna hook it through See that hook there? When you see this is the hook. I want to make sure you got this. If you're uh, work, if you work with this type of material, or then you know what I'm doing. But if you don't, grab the hole, and you're going to take the two sections, pull it over the hoop of the dowel, and you are going to put the. I can't do it with. You're going to put the two ends through the bottom of the hook, see? Like that, and then pull. And that's kind of, a, I think, a cow loop. And this is what it looks like. All right, so I may do one here and one here, and then start cutting into the shape that I want. So I will be back on, but I wanted to sh not go so far that you don't know what I'm doing. But this is how the hooks look. It's a cow hoop. So you just take your two pieces, separate them, loop it over, and then take these through the loop and pull. And if you, you I think it's called a cow notch or cow, excuse me, hoop. So if you're not sure, just look it up on YouTube. Okay? So I will show you in a second something else I worked on. So this was her pumpkin with her technique, and this was my pumpkin. But I used half of her technique and half of mine. So I did an in and out stitch with just one layer of the, the material, in and out all the way around, and then left some str uh, uh, string or thread, and then I pulled it tight. But the only thing is, you, I should have stuffed it more. And then she used some other technique with her grooves. Like she would take a piece of twine and then tie one piece up tight on one side and one piece up tight on this side. So there were four grooves. And I just didn't like that look. So it kind of turned out a little flat too. But she's good. So anyway, you, you know, you do what suits your fancy. So here's mine, here's hers, and uh, they're both mine, but I tried different techniques to make it easier. So like I said, if you wanna, I don't know if I have time tomorrow to make the turkey meatballs because I have four people coming to visit me, my family, 
so I'm not really sure. But if you're interested and you want me to make you the beef meatballs, so simple. It's fact, I think I made them once back on my, on my videos. Let me know and I will do that. And if you want to do taking a chance like I am with this crazy, nice hair, huh? With this crazy uh, craft that I'm working on. And I do have Dollar Tree spray starch. And I'm praying it works out. Just something different. It's not going to be the best craft in the world. And then I promise after that, I get to the Dollar Tree or Michael's. I need a few more uh, florals that I have in mind to fill up my cousin's basket. And, uh, yeah, I saw her yesterday. She took me out all day. She did so much for me. And I really enjoyed myself. So uh, I'll be working on that after I get done. I'll probably will do that before the tree. Oh, I gave it away. All right. You didn't hear that. So Charlie is with my daughter because I have so much coming up. So take care. God bless and I'll see you soon. Sharon Charlie's Crafts. I'll pray for you. Please pray for me.